Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Uh, today what we want to talk about is can neck problems cause sinus problems? The answer is absolutely yes. Now of course there's lots of differing reasons people have sinus problems, but one of them uh, can be upper cervical spine injury. In fact, I'm living proof of this. Um, part of my health history 23 years ago after being dropped on my head that got me into the upper Blair upper cervical procedure uh, was sinus problems. For two years my sinuses were completely swollen shut. I couldn't breathe through my nose. It was kind of miserable. And for those of you who do have sinus problems, you know when your sinuses are swollen shut and you have sinus issues, you have cognitive problems and you can't think straight and your memory typically doesn't work so well. But 23 years ago, I landed in a Blair Upper Cervical Office, got my upper neck corrected, and rather quickly, my sinus problems actually cleared up. So to answer the question, can, can neck problems cause sinus problems? Absolutely, and I'm gonna tell you how. The seventh uh, cranial nerve, it's called the facial nerve, has a branch called the greater petrosal, petrosal nerve. That nerve basically innervates the sinus membrane. So inside the sinus cavities you have tissue um, and it's, there's uh, mucosa in there that secrete, for lack of a better term, um, mucus. We won't use the other one that your kids use. Um, but so the, the seventh cranial nerve, one of the branches supplies the mucosa of the sinus membranes. And so, since the nervous system is what controls and regulates the sinus membrane, if it's being interfered with or irritated, it can also cause irritation in the sinus membrane and the sinus can swell. So, because the head is basically a bowling ball and it sits on this little bone called the atlas that weighs two ounces, all right, so we got a bowling ball that sits on these two joints here uh, and that's basically what's held together by muscle and ligaments, a weak link. So as we go through life's uh, injury from trauma, such as car accidents, slip and falls, sports injuries can cause the top vertebra in the neck to become locked. So the first thing that happens, if you look at the side of someone, we should have a normal C-shaped curve in the neck like this. When you've had an upper cervical injury and that top vertebra is locked under the skull, what runs inside of it is the brainstem, and the brainstem is responsible for postural muscle tone control. So, when you have a neck injury, the neck muscles go into spasm, the neck typically gets pulled straight. We've all seen these people walking around out there with their head like this, and of course there's varying degrees of this depending on how the body is adapted to it. But when you lose the curve in the neck, Remember, the spinal cord uh, embryologically developed to fit in a C-shape like this. When the neck goes straight, you have tensile stress on the spinal cord, and right in the brainstem is where the seventh cranial nerve sits, the nuclei that actually controls um, the function of the seventh cranial nerve. One of the functions, of course, is the sinus membrane. Uh, and so when you have tensile stress on the cord, the brainstem can be irritated because the tissue is being tractioned. It's, um, it's not nice and um, placid. It's actually being stretched, and that can cause the nuclei to malfunction and create all sorts of problems, not just sinus problems, but it can cause a whole host of trouble throughout the body. So getting back to sinus problems, because the seventh cranial nerve controls the sinus membrane and its nuclei is in the brainstem, which is housed by C1, C1, and C2. If you've had an upper neck injury and it's irritating that nuclei that controls the seventh cranial nerve, it can predispose a person to, to sinus um, issues. So, what do we do to fix it? Uh, if you were to come into a Blair Upper Cervical Office, you would be run through a battery of tests that will determine if your top neck vertebra, one of them is locked out of position, irritating the cord, and if it is, and you want to go further, we take a set of very precise 3D x-rays that look at how these two joints fit to the two joints on the bottom of the head, and, and that will tell us exactly how that vertebra is locked and impacting the cord. Once we have that information, it's a very gentle, precise correction that's made right under the right ear or the left ear, depending on what direction you're off. We make a correction to get the vertebra off the cord. Once the vertebra is off the cord, the body will then go through a natural healing process. Uh, we've had hundreds 
um, of people with sinus problems in our, our Los Angeles and Carson office over the years that have recovered and along with a, a lot of other health conditions. So if you're someone who's on YouTube that's scouring the internet because you've been to 30 doctors and no one's been able to help you, I remember that 23 years ago. If you haven't tried Blair Up for Cervical Care, please do so if you're in the Los Angeles area. We do offer a free consultation exam. There's absolutely no obligation. You can come in, we'll run you through a battery of tests, we'll go over your case history, we'll determine if your upper neck is out of alignment and whether we think we can help you or not. If you're outside of the Los Angeles area, please give us a call, we'll find you a doctor in your area. Uh, our number is 213-399-7772, that's our Los Angeles office. Our Carson office is 310-324-6172. Again, we offer free consultation. Um, take us up on it. If you're outside the LA area, like I said, we can give us a call. We can find you someone in your locale. Hope this information was helpful.